Byron said the strange tomb was coming from around here, right? Mm-hmm. But Byron doesn't hear anything. There doesn't seem to be a soul in... I was just wondering who in their right mind would come out to a place like this. So, it's you two. Hey, uh... Leon! <sighs> How'd you sneak up on us like that? You nearly gave Paimon a heart attack! <laughs> you look pretty alive to me. Can't have spooked you that bad. You... you... Uh, fair enough. Know anything about the strange music? Ah, you're here for that too? Saves me a bit of explaining. Come with me. I've already reconned the perimeter, so we should be safe. The stuff by the door is in pretty good condition, though. It can't have been too long ago that someone was last living here. Hmm. Solidify! Oops. Wrong button. This place is completely empty. There's nothing valuable left here at all. The doors and the windows are all fine, so there definitely wasn't a break in. Strange. It looks like it's been looted, except for the fact that there's no sign of a struggle. The bad guys could have sneaked in while the owner was gone, but then how do you explain why the door and windows are intact? Seems you've done a pretty thorough inspection. So, any theories on what might have happened here? Yaylon, you didn't hide some of the evidence from us on purpose, did you? <laughs> why would I make this more difficult for you? We're on the same side here. Okay, well... Paimon gives up then. Paimon's got nothing. What about you? Give up as well? It's difficult with yours of so little evidence. It must have something to do with that melody. Your instincts are pretty good. Hmm. Or perhaps it's not instinct. The strange melody is one of the few pieces of information you have available after all. Let me share a folk story with you. A long time ago, there used to be a group of bandits in the Liyue countryside who would sound a horn every time they were about to raid a village. But it wasn't a rallying cry to rouse their fellow men. It was a disconcerting tune, meant to intimidate the weak and warn them of their impending doom. To escape with their lives, the villagers would abandon their homes and flee overnight, taking only their most valuable belongings with them. Everything else was left behind. The bandits were eventually brought to justice, but the fear and trauma remained in the villagers' hearts. Whenever they heard that melody, they would feel like their lives were in danger once again and flee immediately. The huh. culprit of this crime exploited that very fear to get access to this house without having to force their way in. Huh. That's quite the story. The victims obviously will have gotten quite a fright, but at least they won't be in any great danger. The important thing now is to find this copycat criminal. Hmm. If we use elemental sight, we could follow their tracks. On any other day, that'd probably be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work today. Take a look around and you'll see what I mean. This criminal is clearly well-versed both in using music to commit crimes and in making a clean getaway. Not only did they stay off the muddy road to avoid leaving footprints, it looks like they were also careful not to bring any gadgets with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Evidently, they were intent on keeping even the most experienced investigators off their trail. Unfortunately for them, I'm one of the best trackers in the business. They're not about to get away with their little scheme on my watch. <laughs> so basically, if we want to find the culprit, we just need to follow you! Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. As long as you can keep up. Since the culprit's trying to be cautious and low risk, I'll bet they left through an area with some vegetation for cover, but not so much that it would slow them down. Here, 
Look at this. These tracks are superficial, but they definitely didn't occur naturally. Something heavy was being dragged this way, meaning we're headed in the right direction. Hmm. <laughs> what? Okay. Huh. Their pace is increased. Normally, people carrying a heavy load slow down as their journey goes on and they start to tire. Whatever's motivating them to speed up must be psychological. For instance, reaching the home stretch. Round them up. Ha. Ah. Hey, who are you? Where did you come from? Hmm. The evidence is conclusive. Okay. Confess, and we'll go easy on you. My patience is running low, so why don't you do us both a favor, hmm? You kidding me? You think I'm scared of you? You should be. Perhaps not. But you should be. <laughs> exactly. You're open! Gotcha. And they were just touching this guy. Curses. Seems like you're not all talk after all. But there's no going back now. Better up my game. There you go. <laughs> Didn't finish him off. Mercy! Have mercy! <laughs> oh, it's a little late for that. I've come this far. I might as well finish the job. I surrender! I surrender, please! I'll do whatever you say! Please have mercy! <laughs> Tell us everything. You have one chance. And I'm warning you. Don't make me ask twice. Ooh. I won't! I swear! <laughs> um, you know, so... Lantern Rite's nearly here, and like a lot of people, I wanted to buy a few nice things. I know I'm with the treasure hoarders and everything, but I don't really have any kind of experience with robbing people and whatnot. So I, uh, I don't have the guts to break into somebody's house. Wow, you're really going to complain to us about that? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm just telling it how it is. Okay, continue. I racked my brains trying to think of what I could do. And eventually, I remembered something from back when I was a kid. The bandits would blow their horn, and my grandma would grab us kids and run. I remember the tune, so I... I figured I'd try it for myself. I mean, just to see what would happen. At first, anyway, I seriously didn't expect that family to pack up and leave. But they did, and they just left all their stuff right there for the taking. It was too easy, I just... I couldn't resist. It was completely wrong of me, I know that now. I'll return everything that I took. It's all still in perfect condition, and will be like it was never gone. Please, give me a chance, huh? Let me make it right. Give you a chance, huh? Sounds to me like you'd rather strike some kind of a deal than spend Lantern right behind bars. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> you know how to bargain, I'll give you that. It's just a pity that you didn't confess at the first opportunity. You'll have to take a walk with me. Once we've returned the goods, we'll find the owner of the house, and you can apologize to them in person. After that, I'll escort you to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, ma'am! You know, as a former victim of this kind of crime yourself, 
I doubt anyone understands the fear you inflicted quite as well as you do. Does your greed matter more to you than your fear? More to the point, if you can play a tune from memory, don't you think you should be capable of making an honest living? You mean... <laughs> That's enough hints for you. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on all of this yourself. There's not much left to wrap up, so I'll take it from here. Guess this is where I'll say goodbye. Yeah. Well done, Yelen. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else? I'm still not sure how you first got your hands on this information. So play it safe when you get back. Don't mention to anyone that you ran into me out here. Okay. You helped a lot with the investigation oh. and arrest anyway, so it's perfectly fair for you to get all the credit. Just take it. It works better for me, too. <laughs> see you when I see you. And <laughs> happy lantern right. You're not such a pro at this. With her taking it from here, it's as good as resolved. Whoosh! Random event, a strange melody complete. Although, it's kind of a shame that we never got that treasure hoarder guy to play the melody again. Why is it a shame? I'm quite curious myself. Right? How could anyone not be? When we were chatting with Mr. Dvorak, music seemed like such a positive thing. And most music is, right? It can help us relax, feel all warm and fuzzy, recall happy memories, or even just think happy thoughts. Paima never imagined that music could be used to commit crimes. Oh, well, it comes down to the ill will of the user. The bad deeds influence the emotions associated with the music. Oh, really? Huh, makes sense. <gasps> Paimon's musical understanding improves again! Well, anyway, now that everything's resolved, let's get back to Leo at Harbor. Violet's still waiting for us with our random event rewards. <laughs> That's in <Sydney> Vieland, though. <laughs> Violet, we're back! Everything's all sorted! Mm -hmm. That's great news! Oh, please wait here a moment, if you would be so kind. Lady Ningwong instructed me to advise her upon your return. Oh. <laughs> there she is. My greetings to both of you. Long time no see. Hi, Mommy. I mean, Ningguang. You need to be so formal <laughs> with us, Ningguang. We've known each other for a long time now. You must be super busy with all the preparations for Lantern Rite. Don't mind us. On the contrary, I think it is those that I have known longest to whom I should extend the greatest courtesies. Alas, on a different day, I would invite both of you inside for some tea and a brief respite from your travels. But you're quite right. Trivial matters aside, there's no escaping the fact that we have a grand concert to organize. Once the performance itself is over, we'll then need to invite the representatives of the Iridescence Tour for a discussion on future collaboration opportunities. The financing arrangements alone could well entail many rounds of discussion. Simply put, there will always be work to do. Whoa, you're already thinking that far ahead? <laughs> well, we can discuss more current affairs if you'd prefer. I trust you saw this year's Ming Shao Lantern at the docks when you arrived at the city? Yeah, it looked like a goose. Which Adeptus is it modeled on this time? Hmm. Seagazer. I believe you're familiar with the name. Legend holds that he was free-spirited and easygoing. People described him as a cheerful soul and a loyal friend. Hmm. It's been too long. I can't seem to recall. On this marvelous lantern rite, we pray that the fallen heroes may be guided home. If the sound of music can flow like the rivers and streams into every corner of the land, Perhaps the souls of those who have gone before us will hear the song of a new era. I wonder whether the melodies will be to their liking. Oh, they're gonna love them! I'm unsure of it! At least, if the guy you mentioned is anything to go by, the Adepti and heroes of the past sound like a positive and free-spirited cheerful bunch! They're sure to be open to new music! <laughs> well... Let's 
Let's hope so. I heard that you'll be going on a search with Ganyu to find the descendants of a fairy lady from a Fontaine legend. I'm sure this quest to uncover the truth behind an ancient story will turn into a most charming tale. Do share it with me, won't you? I couldn't bear to miss out. Absolutely. Hmm. What is... What's this? Whoa! Can you? <laughs> it's okay, can you? You can sleep. This journal will do. <sighs> Greetings, traveler and Paimon. Uh, what time is it? Did you not sleep in the three days that you were working? Are you okay, Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's discuss the matter at hand. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot about the story Paimon told me. In essence, someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. If that were all there was to it, it could have been many people. Human or Adeptus. But the tune was allegedly so wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else. Even his own impending death and only came to his senses after being brought to shore. Perhaps there was an adeptal power at work in that music that he, as a mortal, could not perceive. Or perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him but lacked the words to describe it, not knowing where it came from. Either way, if this part of the story is true, then the rescuer has to have been an adeptus. You really think so? But this story is all the way from Fontaine! Isn't this a bit of a long shot? Hmm. Also, Paimon's really curious about how people from Fontaine think this fairy lady looked. <laughs> Maybe they imagined her having wings. Ooh, like a crystal fly's wings? That would be pretty cool. But Paimon definitely can't imagine any of the Adepti looking like that. Actually, Ganyu, if you had to save a drowning person, how would you go about it? <laughs> huh? Me? Um, well, I'd get them to the shore, 
And then I'd probably hide behind a tree and watch them for a while. Aww. Once I was sure that they were going to be okay, I'd slip away without a sound. <laughs> That's cute. Got it. So basically, <laughs> Ganya's the type of person who doesn't like taking credit for her good deeds. No, it's not like that. I'm just not very good at explaining things. And I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Well, what if the Seductus in the story had a similar attitude? That would explain why she just left without saying a word. She was probably thinking something like, <clears throat> One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this egregious disruption to one's <laughs> graceful zithering at once. You may keep your thanks to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a very good impression of Cloud Retainer, Paimon. As far as I'm aware, Cloud Retainer isn't the most musically gifted. Still, we can't completely rule her out just yet. Um, if we set off now, we could head to Mount Outsung and ask her about it. You'll be able to confirm either way if it's her, and I can... Um, I've been in Leo Harbor for so long now that I'm just not as familiar with the Adepti anymore. If there's anything we want to know about them, she's the best person to ask. Sounds great! And we're pretty close with Cloud Retainer by now, so we probably don't even need to bring her food this time, right? <laughs> I've prepared a gift for her to mark the festival, just in case. However... You still have some reservations? Um, Cloud Retainer spends most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. She's on her own so much of the time that the moment she has someone to chat with, she just... Never mind. I promised I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and now that I've made the contract, I can't be having second thoughts. Traveler? Paimon? Let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. Seems like this is a tough decision for Ganyu, but she's made up her mind now. Paimon gets why she'd be so anxious. Hmm. Okay, how about this? If Cloud Retainer tries to start telling stories about her again this year, we should pipe up and change the topic. Wait, did she leave already? Hey, Ganyu! 